Well, I heard this pop, 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 pop. You know. So I told my wife, I said, well, the boys are over there target shoot. And this just seconds again, and pop, 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 pop. And I said, that's not target shooting. I get up, I come just like the door, and this pickup is coming right in through here. And I was like, oh, somebody's, because this is private drive now. So I walk, I walk over here to, I walk over to here, and I see he's coming up the driveway. He gets about where your car is, but he's in the grass area. He has his window down, and we make eye contact. And I said, just what the hell are you doing? And just as I said that, here comes a state police officer. And he has, she has her siren on her. I mean, she's coming. I mean, she comes up this driveway here. I don't know how she made that turn, but I'm not rocking. I mean, she comes up there. But then he's already back here. She comes here, and I'm going back this way. And I know what's going on then. Because we, we got the shooting, and I thought, well, this is this guy that shot the cop up in Bethlehem. She lets her car sell here, and she gets out, and she gets behind my house and my garage, and it's only about five feet apart. And I mean, it started, it just sounded like it was in the house here. And I run back in to get my rifle and load it, and I told her I should start locking doors and stuff, that's him. And... He stopped back here in my backyard, and she gets out between my house and my garage, and it just starts bang, 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 and it just, and it just sounds like it's in the kitchen. He gets, she leaves. I didn't know where she got to because just in by, I don't know, a minute or two, this officer come on the door and knocked and said, to "Stay inside." And I said, yeah, "I'm." I got my gun in South Friday, he said, that's good. He leaves, and it's probably maybe five minutes, and I mean, they already cut loose back here. And he said, uh, there was another officer come and knock, and he said, oh, by the way, he said, you can put that away. He said, it's over. And I said, you mean the shooter's done? He said, yeah, the shooter's done. He said, we lost an officer. He had that look in his face that this was going to be his last day. I mean, it was just that face we were looking, his eyes, when we made eye contact, it was just, this was going to be his last day. We knew what was going on because every single road we were on, there was a uh, state trooper. Um, we knew what they, they were looking um, for this, this person and there was a massive manhunt. And we just came home and took our dogs out of the car, three of our four dogs. And right then we saw um, the unmarked trooper, uh, Trooper Rougeau's uh, vehicle, coming down the uh, swamp road. And I even said to my wife, oh look, they're on our road now too. But we really didn't think much about it because we saw them everywhere else we were. We just didn't think it would happen here. So we saw them coming down, they saw him coming down, and then he slammed on his brakes. And right after that, we heard two or three f shots. After the first shot, I didn't... The first shot, I just, it didn't register. But then the second and third shots, I said, wow, this is it, it's here. So my wife and I uh, picked up, each picked up a dog, threw him back into the car, but little Martin was, uh, was still out. And before we got to him, the big barrage of shots came and it spooked him and he ran uh, directly uh, towards the shooter um, in that direction and I couldn't catch him. Um, but, uh, you know, by the grace of God, I was able to dive and sweep out his legs, and he tumbled, and he stopped. If he didn't stop, he, I wouldn't have gotten him. And he stopped, I picked him up, and we uh, ran back in. Um, and while the other three dogs were still in the car during the, the, the firefight, and then at, at one point then, the, the perpetrator uh, was over in that area behind my neighbor's house, and all the state police were on that side of the house converging and they were using the car that our dogs were in as cover. Yeah, uh, so it was, um, it was pretty horrible. You know, and it's, uh, the worst part about it is uh, uh, Trooper Rougeau's um, loss of life. I mean, it's just so sad. We have a daily constant reminder here.